here at the Bob's booth, uh, uh, I was just about to see, say that we have two friends because we have the DM340, but also Patrick, who works for Bob's. Patrick, I mean, it must be nice for you to be back at Label Expo. Uh, you in a new position, uh, amazing technology, uh, and, and a lot of anticipation from the market. I mean, what's not to like? Ah, yeah, absolutely. Even though we did Label Expo, or we attended Label Expo Chicago, Label Expo Europe is definitely the place to be. And after 2019, it was a long time that we were not there. And especially with our new product lineup, with all the news in Bob's, it was exciting really to come here and to see the reaction. But, but I have to give, uh, make you a little bit uh, up to speed on your, on, your, on your history, because actually at Label Expo in Chicago, you weren't there. You were oh. there, but you didn't exhibit because this machine was not ready. And then you had the open house in Alpharetta and Chica and I recovered it. And it is a fantastic machine because it is a new generation from, from Bob's. So tell us a little bit about the machine, what it is and what it can do. So the machine you see here, it's a Digital Master 340. It's one of our all-in-one machine portfolio. And it was created due to the market trends of automation, integration of different processes. What we see also at Label Expo here, we have few like really technology announcements but we see a lot of announcements towards automation ease of use uh, quality control systems which go in the direction of our Bob's Accu check so um, we really believe that this including processes in an all-in-one uh, is the future and Label Expo here proves that the direction we are going it's also the direction of the industry and we want to present with uh, that machine the future of the label industry. And um, I think that you have been pretty successful because uh, just for people to understand, this is still a pretty new machine, right? Yeah. But you have been quite successful getting it to market, right? Yeah, exactly. So we announced the machine in March or April last year. And since then, uh, we had huge success also in terms of uh, people or customers liking the technology, investing in uh, the third or, or the second or third press already. It's uh, incredible proof of the technology and of the success. Yeah. Why do you think it is like this? Have you just hit the hot spot in the market or why, why have you been successful? No, I think the market is going first of all towards uh, UB Inkjet. There are first generation digital presses which still are market leading, but UB Inkjet is growing very fast. And then we went, we jumped on the second wave of these hybrid um, technologies and with the all-in-one coming everything from one supplier, I guess this was the right moment and we had the right solution to come to the market. And this is part of the success. Also leveraging clearly all the knowledge we have in the company and having the, like the technology is digital, flex, so and converting in-house, it makes a big difference. I, I did an interview with your colleague Matteo just a few hours ago, and yeah. as I said to him, it seems that when Bob's decides to be in the market, you're very serious, like both in investigating the needs from the customers and the market, and then develop machines that just work, right? I mean, so that is yeah. probably part of the success as well. I mean, and Absolutely, it's, yeah. it's like that. What um, we are known for, Bob's, I guess, for the 130 years of expertise in packaging, it's about the stability of the company and the resilience of the whole like, ecosystem, what we built up over the last 100 years. Mm -hmm. So and this is also the direction what we're going with the Bob's label division. Um, it's not necessarily the need of innovating, sophisticated, very fancy stuff, which where the market is not ready to implement those solutions. So we really try to focus on what are the market requirements, what are the customer needs, and then doing steps towards solving those problems. You cannot solve everything now. No. But, but we're trying to do in small steps to go in that direction. And, and this is and one example is basically we're standing in front of the of the new white unit here that you have on the machine. That is basically to make a digital unit uh, capable of producing high quality uh, ink uh, white, right? Exactly. So there was there was a need from the market for high opacity white, high speed white because of certain applications like cosmetics. 
but also because of high requirements for productivity. Even though our white, or our standard wise, it was 74% opacity, it's already within industry standards, but with 49 meters per minute, it doesn't fit all the requirements of customers really focusing on certain segments, like, as I said, cosmetic, and this is why I invented this. Um, the other thing is uh, the unified HMI, which probably it's the most or the biggest step towards... Which one, sorry, was that? The unified user, machine user oh, interface. okay, so you have like one interface for... Uh... It's now one... Oh yeah, in the past there was like more like... Uh, there were yeah. two yeah. interfaces, yeah. now yeah. we have included everything on one screen. Okay. So you operate the whole line, yeah. the conventional and the digital modules from one single screen. Yeah. And this is in terms of ease of use and in terms of ramping up operators, new yeah. employees, it's um, fulfilling one of the main um, problems in the market now, which is workforce. Yeah. Of course, because workforce is always an issue or still an issue in the industry. So if you look at a machine like this, uh, I don't know if you had time or is this is first day of uh, Label Expo, but where do you see this uh, DM340 uh, in relation to your competition? I mean, where uh, do you have a lot of competition in this particular field or? I mean, it's a very difficult question to answer. If we look at the digital market, um, we are con we are concentrating more on our all-in-one segment. Clearly, we have, if the customer wants digital machines, we have them without the conventional modules or the die-cutting modules. Um, where our competition lies now, it's more in the all-in-one or in this hybrid segment with um, local players, uh, different in Europe, in uh, Middle East, in uh, the US. So it's hard to say. but. So the modularity is basically what gives you advantage in different markets. Exactly, we are focusing a lot on the modularity and providing customers machines which fulfill their requirements in terms of applications. And this is our strong point where we see also a majority of the unit sales. Fantastic, yeah. thank you Patrick. Good to see thank you again. You.